This is a white wood tree, very common throughout northwest New South Wales. Grows in along the riverbanks and back out in the um, heart of country. One of the traditional uses for this tree was artifact. It um, has a nice white fleshy underwood that's easy to handle and work with. You can see it grows in clumps. We never actually rushed out and chopped it down for firewood because there's plenty of other better firewood around. This grass grows along the riverbanks. The ladies used to make baskets and bags out of it. When the plant's a little bit bigger, you've got barbs that come out on the side of both sides of the, of the leaf and they can be very irritating. The older ladies used to grab a mussel shell or, or something close and handy and just scrape down the side of it to knock all the barbs off and then commence their weaving. This is a quinine tree spread out all, all through northern New South Wales. Mostly grows in sandy country. It needs that loamy soil to, to um, kick on. It's a medicine tree. It was used for internal medicine. From what I've been told, there's a few ways to prepare it. You have to find an older tree and take the bark off the roots. You boil it up to a certain colour. I've only ever seen it grow about 15 metres but down here on the riverbank at Wirribilla, we've got one here that's 30 metres high, I'd say. I suppose that being down here on the riverbank, it is a, is a little bit sandy from the river, so I guess that's why it's here. Here we have the River Red, very common throughout this river country, all the way upstream and all the way down to the mouth of the Murray River. It's a very good shade tree for summertime. Also nests a lot of birds, uh, cockatoos and and galahs and stuff. It was good firewood and the sap is a bush medicine. Can be boiled up and used for um, external use, for rashes and minor cuts and stuff. In extremely dry times, be careful about sleeping under these trees because they're known to break off a limb and drop it. But other than that, they're, um, they're a real beauty on the riverbank. This is a melaleuca or a tea tree. It's a medicinal tree. From what I've been told by the elders, if you had a cut or if you had some sort of an open wound, you'd get this bark, the fleshiest bit you can get, close to the, to the sapwood and wrap it around the wound and it had healing properties. When I was a young fella in Walgut, my dad used to take me around to his friend's places. Some of them were old indigenous people from the Walgut area. And they used to tell me about the tea tree and the cod. That every cod that you catch, if you open him up and unfold his stomach, you'll get an image of a, of a tea tree in every, every cod. The old fellas was telling me that what tree was inside that cod is where he was born. And I've seen them unravel the fat from inside the cod and put it on a sheet of paper and the only thing it can be is a tea tree. Thank you.